Hi guys, this is Game Guy Thomas here, and today we're going to be doing Atlantis for Team Raider 1. So, yeah. So, this is the door we finished from the Atlas Mines, and here we are. Now, there are Uzi clips right here, let me pick these up. Uh oh. Alright, and I'm going to select my Uzis because basically you'll notice there are eggs in that room in front of us and if we take one more step um, the egg right in front of us on the left is gonna hatch and a mutant is gonna come out of it so here goes nothing alright okay, that one's gonna pop And the one down over here is also going to pop. <clears throat> so that's all of the eggs for now. There will be more activating when you get up on top of the bridge up there. Alright, to get out of this room, it's through this door, but we have to pull a couple switches so we come over here and the door's going to open automatically. Right, over here is a med pack. Okay, the one is okay. okay. The one down below is just gonna pop. It's gonna be a flying mutant. Up these shotgun shells. <coughs> okay, I've noticed something. Um, okay, if you listen carefully, you can hear those um, background noises. Um, those are the same background noises used in the underwater levels in the in Tomb Raider 2. And correct me if I'm wrong, but from from what I remember. Uh, those background noises were not used in this level for the PS1 version because um, the PC version of Tomb Raider 1 came out a couple of years after the console versions like around the same time as Tomb Raider 2 and I think they just used those um, noises from Tomb Raider 2 in this level I don't know why but it just feels weird because I'm used to them in Tomb Raider 2 Alright so that switch open the door over here which opens the door to another switch which is uh, a bit ridiculous to why I couldn't have just used the function of this, this switch for that switch over there I'm guessing that's something to do with like um, wanting you to go across or something I don't know alright the egg right in front of me is gonna pop any second now he's tracking me down through the stairs He's going to come out any second now. Oh great, he went down. Come out. There we go. Alright, let's pull the switch. Alright, now you don't have to activate the egg right over there, but I'm going to do it anyway. Okay, there's going to be an another flying mutant over here. He's up there somewhere. There it is. Any second now. All 
Alright, so when you come out in this big room, um, our ultimate goal is to get all the way to the top up there. And you'll notice there are flying mutants, but they haven't activated yet. Because basically, on, if you look, there are platforms up there, and they are platforms so on up there. And once you get to a certain level, they will activate. In fact, we will get the first secret in a level, and basically it's down here. So you got Magnum Clips, Uzi Clips, and a mid-pack. Now, fortunately, going through that secret um, brings us to the other side, so we don't have to. As you all know, there are teeth coming out, and that's the teeth gate. So luckily, it won't it give us put us on the other side. All right, in this room, obviously, you'll notice there is an egg, and there's a door of a vote just shut. That egg will open as soon as you jump across. So basically, we have to open it by coming over here. So take a couple steps back. Otherwise, you'll hit yourself and die. We'll do all that stuff again. Alright. Okay, let's pull the switch. Right, Uzi clips. Couple, um, two of them. Well, technically four, but still. Alright, now, you don't have to kill the mutants from that egg, uh, you could just run down there and continue on, but if you want to kill it, it's best if you, like, go through that door and shoot it from there, because if you just stand on the bridge, things going to push you off, which is quite annoying. Alright, I'm going to take it out for, for the sake of it anyway. Where is he? Oh, he's down there. Actually, no, I'll screw him. I'm just going to continue on. Alright, so I'm going to save it right here. Alright. So let's come up here. Now, you'll notice over there, there is a door, and we're going to have to pull a switch to open it, but there is a secret up there, a uh, the second secret, and um, you'll notice there are, like, dents in the slope, whatever, but as soon as you jump in this dent right in front of Lara, it's going to spawn the boulder and quickly get out of the way. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to make it or not, but... Alright. Yeah, and you'll notice there are also deads right there, but it is quite hard to notice because it's not like the other deads there. The ones I'm standing are all dark, and those ones there are light, so it's quite hard to see. And that takes you to the secret. <coughs> So we got Uzi clips, Magnum clips, and a medpack. Oh, wrong way. Alright, so it's now open the door. And that happens to be down here. It's quite annoying getting these switches underwater. Sometimes you just fly bolt, swim past them by accident. 
Alright. You have to be quick because it is timed. But as soon as you go past the door, it, um, it won't be timed anymore. Alright. And because we took out the boulder, we don't have to worry about it. There we go. Now, um, if you come in this room, you'll notice there are three doors containing lava, and we have to open those doors to allow the lava to come out. And it's going to push those platforms over to the other side, which will allow us to go through that opening over there, which we can't get. So basically, we have to. Yeah, I can't grab. So we're going to have to come over here, climb up. And pull the switch. <laughs> which opened the door behind us. Okay. Alright, so we're back out here. And there's a switch which will open those doors to get the lava out. Right, let's pick the med pack up. <coughs> and there's oozy clips. Alright, and that opened those three doors with the lava. And you'll notice there's uh, you'll notice the lava right there is in the room. Alright, so like I said, it pushed those block or uh, platforms, whatever they're called, over there. So all we have to do is do a running jump and get over there. I don't think there's any lava down there. There are spikes down there, so be careful. Okay. Alright, there's a door there and some shotgun shells. And the switch to open that door happens to be right here. 